Hey everyone, welcome to my sixth video. Um, we're just going to wrap up November, do the um, Pass the Stash giveaways that I posted a wee while ago. Um, I'm going to use Mace for that and he'll show you his latest project. Um, so yeah, we'll just get started, shall we? Sorry, I look like sh crap. Um, we live in a valley, the people across the valley had a big party last night. Um, I ended up being a party pooper, and I know I wasn't the only one ringing noise control after midnight. Um, but there's only so much you can handle um, after midnight. Anyway, so, um, as you know, I'm doing um, a round robin with a few girls, and um, Andy's theme came through. She's um, chosen the Petal Fairy, and you see, that is a massive, massive piece of fabric. It's twice the size of mine. Um... But I got to be first, and I stitched Petal Fairy, because I do not have this chart in my stash. There's nearly, I know you can't quite see the sparkle, but there is nearly a whole roll of Kranich in that wing. It looks really beautiful in person. Um, Andy's going to be washing and doing all the beads when she gets it back, so, which, um, as I said previously, Christmas next year maybe? All going well? Anyway, that one's good. That one's ready to go. I had another finish in November. Woohoo! Uh, this is Clouds Factory 18. It is on 28 Count Lagana Cloudburst, which is hand dyed from um, Country Stitch Fabrics down in Wellington. Um, I changed out a couple of things. Can you pass me my bad mace? Uh, sorry. It's my folder of all the, all the stuff. So, uh... I keep notes of everything that I change out. I usually do put it up on my blog. So with Mr. T, instead of the um, gold, uh, the yellow threads, I popped in some gold. A couple of different shades of Krennic in there, um, 002 and 102. And um, Simon, who it's for, said that the tyres looked weird half in grey, so they're completely in black now. So, But those were pretty much the only changes that I made there. Everything else is, is, is called for. I'm quite pleased with that one. Um, the boys want a TV wall now, so um, all the different things that they watch, which I think is quite cool. I can get into that. I get to haul stash. Um, I started um, another couple of things. Um, there was the Sitch Mania White Day, which is Thanksgiving in the States. Couldn't convince my boss that I needed a day off. However, on the Saturday after, shit, oh, sorry, chart. Good luck to you though, getting it off that one. So, all this white through here, that's all one day. It's pretty good getting her um, back into action. I hadn't touched her since probably August, I think. Because this skirt is massive and it was driving me nuts. Because it felt like you were getting nowhere fast. Oh, look, there's mace. Um, so yeah, a little bit more on Persephone. Um, I started um, an Emma Congdon. Oh, I'm glare. Discovered that my local library, because I pay rates, so I don't feel guilty about this, my local library has a Zinio service, and um, some of the cross-stitch magazines from the UK are on there, which means oh, I can get them now as soon as they come out in the, in the UK, which is great. So, I'm doing the Tolkien one, um, and this is just on a plain 28 count white Lugana. Um, the balloon is a variegated thread I had left over. I have very obviously stuffed up the the, the compass, um, the wings east-west weren't supposed to be as long as the north-south, I actually don't care, it's going to stay that way, and I'm kind of doing Smyrna crosses for the, for the stars instead of everything else, so not quite sure about the white that's down here, thinking it's getting a little bit lost, um, but yeah, we'll just see how it goes, there's a lot of backstitch going into that, so we'll just, yeah see how that goes. I'm thinking that one um, will be my Stitch Mania December piece because it's quite close to a finish um, and when I finish that one I will wander on to um, Mermaids of the Deep because um, that one's nearly over as well. Um, so Mace is here, he is going to be my Google random number generator in just a moment but I thought he could show you off his piece. So he's been working on this piece here for a couple of months now on and off. Um, he doesn't stitch a lot. When he does he's uh, very industrious 
Um, so take a look at that. Come here, Mace. Let me show you your piece. So this is Mason's version of it. We've got a red cricket ball, because kookaburra make red cricket balls here. And he's changed out the colour of the soccer ball as well. We're up to the back stitch now. Back yep. stitch isn't your favourite. And it's hard. It's hard. Oh, bless. Very hard. Very hard. You're going to get the hang of it though, eh? Because you thought cross stitch was hard to start with. Yeah. And the back stitch is kind of weird because it goes inside. And I've only done the basketball. But you got a good start. Yeah. Okay. So in my last video, I had some things I wanted to pass the stash on. Um, and I've got notes down in my handy dandy notebook, um, my planner, about what they were. Now, um, the first one was the Stony Creek Heaven's Light. Um, sea Stitch Joanna, you were the only person who wanted this. So it's going to be coming your way. Send me a message. Um, I'll try and go back to the other video and just PM people um, as I can. Um, there were two people who wanted the shell collection, which was Joanna again and A Stitch Too Far. So because my rule said if you got one, then you weren't going to get the other, um, then this is for you, A Stitch Too Far. Um, I do hope you enjoy it. Um, as I said, you know, I did some top strands in the um, in just a blending filament and it really made them gloss and I made them look really nice. Um, nobody wanted this one, so it's going to go off to the junk store now. Bye. Um, and then the last, the, the second one was the one that got the most. Um, as I said, I thought it reminded me of something that Stephanie is doing, um, who made it in the unicorn, which I think is really, really cool. Um, however, my tastes have changed and this is just not me anymore. So there were six people who said that they um, would have liked this one. Um, I'm going to get my little number generator here um, to tell me a number between two and six because we're going to have to take out a stitch too far. I'm sorry. Tell me a number between two and six. Five. Five? Okay, five is... Thread Garden. Congratulations, honey. It's all going to be coming your way. I will try and get it out before Christmas. If everyone can please, please, please send me the details, that would be fantastic. All right. Thank you, Max. You can make, go off and tidy up your room again. I'm sure that thrills you. It doesn't thrill him at all. Um, I've got um, one last thing. I've just done this this weekend, actually. I took these out of um, this edition, which is a 2015 version of Cross Stitch Ornaments. Um, the original tree is um, here on just normal fabric. It's, it's okay. It's not so bad. I had some secret Santas to do, so I thought, well, okay, I will change it up. Um, the first I'm doing for um, in my office, I don't really know her all that well. She's a bit girly girly. So we've got the first tree, which is in the charter colours, and I put on some princess charms that I got from Spotlight, done it on plastic counters, 14 count. It is tiny. It's probably five centimetres high, if that. I haven't measured it. And then I thought, oh, not not so sure about the colours and everything like that. Like quite like them. I know I've seen her in them. So I've done a green one as well, and another different pack of charms from Spotlight. Um, they are this brand, Daintified. I got some other ones as well. My daughter wants a proper tree, um, which I've seen in a cross stitch magazine as well. One of the English ones, so I've downloaded, bookmarked that on, on Zinio. Um, yay for Zinio! Quite, quite like that. I got some little bells as well. It's in my second copy of the day. They're not quite as belly noisy as I would like, even though they're in the plastic, but um, they'll look pretty, I think, on 14 count. Um, I am going to be doing Stitch from Stash next year. Hooray! You can all hear my husband crying out, um, which means I've been afflicted massively by that... Um, oh, shit, got to buy it now, bug. It's not a good bug. It's a very catching bug. 
very, very, very catching bug. So I've had a few deliveries come through. I've still got something down, which is terrible. Um, the first thing is Nora Corbett Snapdragon. I'm going to save this along with a couple of other pixies that I've got for a round robin that I'm planning in 2018, which is ridiculously long way away. But I do love her colours. I think she is just gorgeous. I may succumb and do her previously, but that's that's the plan for her. Um, I got some old um, just cross stitch magazines off Trade Me. Um, there's a couple of things I've already flagged that I will do. This is August 1990. And on here there's a, a primitive Noah's Ark that I kind of like. And yes, that was the only one. I've just had the chart as well. Um, this is August 2008 with the previews on it. Poppy Field. I'm really loving that Poppy Field and I'm thinking that might be the perfect one to do um, We've started that 100 years commemoration of World War One, so um, I'm thinking that's that's probably something that I will do for that and donate to um, my local RSA. Ooh, I really like that bell ornament. I really like it. That is uh, Jeanette Douglas Designs. I've just discovered her recently and I quite like her. Um, I reckon that would look very nice in a variegated thread. And I think I'll just have to go to Ribbon Rose and get something. Just have to. Have to do it quickly too, because we're running down out of time before we go away on holiday and all those sorts of things. And then this last one is Country Cottage Needleworks, and it is beautiful, and I love that colours and everything like that. And I think maybe a satin thread that would look quite cool in that. I'm sorry for the believe people. Um. This one is the May June 2009, and I bought it primarily because it has the lighthouse. Although I do have some tapari trees to to do. Um, now this is where I'm going to come out and ask for help. I want to do this. I really badly want to do that. This is only part one though, so therefore I wrote this in my planner because this is how anal I'm getting in my old age. Um, if anyone has the July and August 2009 issues of Just Cross Search, I would be very, very grateful. I will pay postage, the cover price, whatever you need. Um, I really, really, really want that. I, I just think it's beautiful. Um, yep, and that's what I originally bought it for, was the lighthouses. So, uh, thinking already about how to um, Kiwi-fy those. Um, and there is a black work sample on here. They're calling them bookmarks, but I actually quite like them done all as one piece like that. So um, that might be something for next year. I can't remember if I showed you my tomorrow. Can you get me the blue thing? No, it's in my whip in my stash pile down on the white basket. This is when it comes in quite handy to have slaves. Yes, please. Thank you very much. I can't remember if I showed you this one, um, which I have started, um, and again it's on a country stitch. And I am loving the fact that it is black work, and I'm thinking maybe maybe this one will be the one that I take away for Christmas. We're away from home for a couple of weeks. Um, I'm a bit worried about that because I've had two house sitters fall over already, and I've got fish, and I don't want my fish to die. And, um, yeah, so I'm a bit concerned because can't really change things now. Flights are booked, ferries booked, never mind. Um, this is March, April 2010. Again, poppies, really like poppies. Um, there are two which are pretty cool. Um, these are layered so. There's a thistle and a queen ant in lace, and I don't know if you can tell, but you do the stitching, and then you do your special stitches, and then you've got more on top where you're actually stitching over your original stitches to make a layered effect, and I think that is quite cool. Be quite time consuming, but it's something a bit different. There's another tapari, but that one's not really me. Yeah. Um, 
there is one here from Little House Needleworks, which I'm thinking is great. Um, I have a Lizzie Kate that's similar to this coming. Um, I was really bad. I ordered what I wanted from 123 for my Christmas present. Um, these are quite cool. Um, I'm not sure if I will actually get around to doing that. Um, and there's a Tracy Horner in here too, which is really quite cool. I really like the colours of that. I think it's quite um, quite bright, but also a little bit muted. Bit, uh, nouveau-y. Really quite like that. There's dragonflies. My daughter's into dragonflies, so that one's on the list. Um, and the last one I bought of from that stash was from March and April 2012. He's pretty cool. Um, and out of here there is a Fabergé egg. I think that's really neat. Um, and I could see changing up some more speciality stitches into here. And then Liz Armand, who did the um, the Tamara black stitch that I just showed you, she's got this one here on it. And I think that's quite cool. Shows some different colourways and uh, just some different ways to do it. And I think that's quite cool as well, quite different. Um, Jules, if you're watching, it has mermaids in here. I don't think I've seen this piece on yours. Maybe, maybe you want it afterwards. Maybe I'll rip the magazine up. I don't often rip magazines up, I think. Ripping books up and bending pages and things like that is <gasps> sacrilege. I really do, actually. I have a problem with that. Um, one of the girls in New Zealand is um, de -sashing. Um She and her husband are looking at buying a um, camper van type thing and going around and travelling in that. I couldn't imagine anything worse than that. Andy, sorry, I, I I like my house. I don't want my house on wheels. But I bought some things. Um, Country Cottage Needleworks Joyful Summer. I think it should be a nice quick stitch. I also thought that might be something that Mace might want to do as well because I'm still looking for things for him as well. Um, there's Little House Chart 58, which is the Little House Needle Neighbourhood. I think it's quite good because you can also do this, like you could just stretch it out and do as one long one as well. Um, this one was for my, you know, work out how to make that a little boy, but he's into alphabets right now. He was, his next piece, he wants it to have an alphabet in it, so that's that. Um, Crystal Symphony, yum, and both of the Maidens of the Seasons, because they're a must. Right, if you do one set, you got to do the other two. So, um, I have to get a really, really big piece of fabric, because I think I want to either do them all singly and just have them all hanging in a row, or as one big piece. I'm not too sure. I've got the um, the dresses as well. Um, I bought that a couple of years ago um, from someone who'd done it, and she gave me most of the beads. And the thing that I was really excited about, really excited because I haven't had the chance to find any of these, it's Celtic Winter. Already made myself a working copy. Already working out the changes that I want to make. Because winter to me isn't the gold. I'm thinking I'll use a blue critical or um, maybe a petite treasure braid in that. Um, I had up on my um, Facebook and up on my Instagram. Because I can't decide on what the fabric. Um, and it looks like the purpley one has one through. I got these from Andy as well. So she was going through. Um, we've got, um, it's a Blue Dynasty Zwega that's from Silk Weaver. Um, and then there's, a, the purple is called Elegance as well. I, I think I quite like these because they're both quite subtle mottling, but there is still some mottling. Um, I know everyone says Silk Weaver's service is abysmal and stuff, and um, buying hand dyed fabrics, I think I'll just stick with Catherine, um, she's local, she gives very good service. If you look on her website, she will tell you what the fabric dyes to in DMC shade, um, and she'll mention it's different if it's an opalescent, or if it's a Lugana, or if it's Ada, um, or if it's a different type again. So there's no surprises, which I think is really, really good. Um, because you can't plan if something's going to be a surprise, right? So anyway, um, that's me. Gosh, this is probably my longest video. I'm clocking in at 20 minutes. Oh, I'll just about tick over 20 minutes. Thank you very much for listening to me, Waffle. Thank you very much for helping me pass the stash. Um, 
I guess I will be doing that again um, sometime soon. I hit 500 followers on Instagram, but because we were doing the pasta stash, and it's Christmas, and we're about to go on holiday, and my budget's really tight, really tight, um, just right now. I thought, well, I'll do something there later on. Um, certainly we'll be passing the stash for some things that I... Um, physical patterns that I finish, not the digital ones. Um, so yeah, um, I probably won't see you before Christmas. So um, have a Merry Christmas, have fun with your families. Um, don't do anything I wouldn't do. That's a small list now. Um, yeah, take care. Bye.